What the f***? Yes, you heard that right. What the Why is an all-new conceptual talk show brought to you by the neuromarketing development producers of the corporate. Bridging continents on current affairs and business between Europe and Asia Pacific. Reporting from our headquarters in Brussels, the heart of European politics, and Singapore, ranked first worldwide for the ease of doing business by the World Bank. We get it, we get it. The title may be pretty offensive. <laughs> How else would have our producers gotten your attention for a current affairs newscast? But wait, hold up. Before you take an exit from this seemingly crude podcast of a title, let us explain exactly why we're calling the show What the Why. We all know what we do, the products we sell, the services we offer, or the jobs we do. Now, some of us know how we do it, the things that we think make us different or stand out from the crowd, but very few of us clearly articulate why we do what we do. The why is the purpose, cause, or belief that drives every organization and every person's individual career. Why does your company exist? Why did you get out of bed this morning? And why should anyone care? What the why is an educational concept formulated from the core of corporate's methodologies and best-selling author Simon Sinek. Inspired by the world-famous communicational mishap spanning across languages and continents, the f word. The corporate investigates the science of the big F word euphemism. Why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just think about it. Every time one exclaims what the f one really means what the why. Why are you doing what you're doing? In business, the corporate believes in educating professionals and businesses on starting with why. If you're building a new product, start with why. If you're leading a team or an organization, start with why. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. The most effective leaders always win the heart first, and then the mind. In each episode of What the Why, we challenge game changes in business, politicians, or just any guest worthy of a TED Talk, worthy of a real why, for an expert psychologist and moderator to investigate the why behind every what and how. We bring on organizations and careers with unique stories to investigate its operation on three levels, what they do, how they do it, and why they do it in just under 15 minutes. In a really simple term, this show is a challenging game that involves us and a psychologist grilling our guests on neuroscience-based questions to investigate the purpose of their business, beyond profit. And really, our guests could range from an economics professor who gives an opinion on COVID-19 clinical trials in Brussels, to some of Singapore's rising entrepreneurs. Participants and the audience will be able to clearly articulate what fulfills them to better understand what drives their behavior. You heard him right. We'll be reporting directly from our headquarters in two continents, the heart of European politics, Brussels, home to the EU's most important institutions, such as the European Commission, European Council, and European Parliament, as well as Singapore, ranked first worldwide for the ease of doing business by the World Bank since 2012. That's consecutively now for seven years. You'd be surprised to know that more than 50% of the world population lives in Asia. And if you measure in purchasing power parity terms, 35 to 40% of the global economy is Asian. This major Asian economic powers and the major markets to which Western companies want to export and do business in are already trading more with each other than they are the rest of the world. And so, if you want to be a successful global company, you can't realistically make that claim unless you're largely present in Asia. And this is why the What The Why Show is an ideal platform to engage with entrepreneurial spirits invested in both regions. In each episode, we'll investigate concrete ideas on how to tackle today's and tomorrow's challenges. The experiments start with the producers ourselves, and in this special, we will be explaining exactly why we do what we do. I'm Kenny. And I'm Shelby. We're your What The Why hosts in this introductory special, representing the corporate team as reporters. Now, let's get serious. In under 15 minutes, we're going to challenge ourselves in explaining the corporate's why, how, and what. Are you ready, Kenny? Let the 15 minutes begin. What the why? In just 15 minutes. At the corporate, there's a reason why we call ourselves the world's first neuroscience-based media production firm, and not a marketing firm. We do not market to clients, we educate. 
Efforts to enhance our clients' service knowledge and providing them with the skills and abilities to use critical information help them differentiate their service offerings, providing a strong foundation on which to build trusting relationships with them ourselves. Too many modern companies seem to believe their ignorance makes for the best customers. The real world bears things out differently. The more informed and empowered customers are, the more satisfied and confident they are with their choices. Customers want context. They want to know about the product as it exists in the real world. They want to know which problems the product will solve and what experts in the field think of its merits. What we're talking about is insight. In a world gone mad with ever more elaborate marketing employees, it's more important than ever before. For many companies, customer education is a built-in problem that needs to be addressed before, during, and after a challenging product is brought to market. Thus, the why behind our mission is educating you on discovering your why. From the producers of the corporate, what the why is grounded in the tenets of the biology of human decision-making and influenced by Simon Sinek's Start With Why. The what corresponds to the outer section of the brain, the neocortex. This is the part of the brain responsible for rational and analytical thought. It helps us understand facts and figures, features and benefits. The neocortex is also responsible for language. The why and how correspond to the middle section of the brain, the limbic system. This is the part of the brain responsible for all our behavior and decision-making. It's also responsible for our feelings like trust and loyalty. But unlike the neocortex, the limbic system has no capacity for language. This is where gut feeling comes from. It's not our stomach. It's a feeling we get about a decision we have to make that we struggle to explain. That separation of powers is the biological reason we sometimes find it difficult to put our feelings into words, like I love you more than words can say, or to justify decisions such as, I don't know, it just felt right. Nobel laureate Francis Crick called it the astonishing hypothesis, the idea that all human feelings, thoughts, and actions, even consciousness itself, are just the products of neural activity in the brain. At the Corporate, we believe neurobiology can reduce the uncertainty and conjecture that traditionally hampers efforts to understand consumer behavior. Branching out neuromarketing, also known as consumer neuroscience, into five methodologies of media production, we study the brain to predict and steer consumer behavior and decision making. You'd be surprised to know how neuromarketing has been bolstered over the past five years by several groundbreaking studies demonstrating its potential to create value in marketing products and services. Which brings us to our how, the corporate's five methodologies of diversifying neuromarketing. To put it into transparent context, at the corporate's office in Brussels, volunteers surrender their subconscious mind to analysis. With a latex cap stretched over their heads, long gray wires stuck to their skull with innermost thoughts fed into a computer as they watch an advertisement for a corporate client. In turn, the computer tells corporate's neuromarketers in Singapore which scenes the volunteers paid attention to, what they responded to emotionally, and what they would go away remembering. This is a far cry from the marketing industry's traditional method of finding out what consumers think about their brands by asking them. The problem is, when gathered in traditional focus groups, respondents can be swayed by those sitting next to them or by the presence of researchers. Thus, they're unable to articulate their responses accurately. As a result, the corporate team prefers analyzing the response of people's brainwaves to brands and advertisements by using the latest developments in neuroscience. Let's take an example of dishwasher tablets. Consumers are attracted to tablets embedded with a blue ball because subconsciously, they believe they clean better. However, when asked in the context of a traditional marketing methods, they would claim no preference about color. The main reason why traditional market research often fails is that we look at things from a conscious point of view. We ask, do you like the brand? Specifically persuading the consumer to be incredibly rational. Yet we know today from neuroscience that 85% of the decisions we make are made by the unconscious part of the brain. Incorporating your service or product will be especially useful for what consumers may find hard to describe, such as when you need to know reactions to smell, taste, and touch for product purchase. With such a product in our first phase of development, we facilitate consumer good companies to extremities such as creating their own in-house testing units that mock up supermarkets. From changing everything from shelf positioning to point of sale advertisements with the flick of a switch and monitor the shopper's brain during the few seconds it takes to select a product, the corporate elevates research to hands-on experiences. 
At The Corporate, we take the future of neuroscience to neurosense, transforming research and statistics beyond its products or services to customizing real-life experiences and 360 campaigns with creative development and media production, such as videography, photography, graphic design and animation, inbound marketing, such as search engine optimization, search engine marketing, user design, user experience, and social media management, outbound marketing, such as curated events, connecting with celebrity and influencer endorsements, and finally, the tried and true method of business development strategies in B2C, B2B, B2P, and even B2G. The trade secret that differentiates us, however, is that C2B is the actual term that characterizes our business development team because our strategists understand that consumers are the real driven force of business today, bringing us back to full circle with our very first step in research, neuromarketing. We are more than what is on the surface. As a global market leader in neurological testing, we believe the spread of such tools can transform major industries such as the financial sector. From understanding how trust is built and broken down for the banks, to creating campaigns propelling our clients' consumers to feel safe and secure. In a real-life corporate case study for a leading financial institution, a common why statement connected a multidisciplinary team with different visions and drives. As a result, it provided the client an opportunity to think beyond the beaten track. In the financial sector, regulation is at the principle of every decision. The common why gave an important insight. What if we think of something so innovative that regulation bends around the idea rather than the other way around? The common why allowed the client to think differently and, as a result, an innovative crowdfunding product could find its way into the market. Your why serves as a compass. It gives you reason and purpose, forcing you to make choices from your intrinsic motivations. On point, Kenny. He's absolutely right, folks. Developing a common why together with our client serves as a starting point for our projects. To excel in these innovative projects, an entrepreneurial mindset should be obtained by formulating this why. By doing so, personal and profession-driven resistance to new ideas and solutions can be eliminated. Having a clear why statement distinguishes the average individual from an inspirational, excited, and passionate leader who is able to change and disrupt a business. Lars Kosters, Corporate's Director of Neuromarketing and PhD Researcher of Medical Sciences on the Neuroscience of Cognitive Impairment and Neurodegenerative Disease, he's also equipped with a specialization in neuroscience with experimental and theoretical psychology, believes the possibilities for neuroscience are almost limitless. When the corporate team and I run a complete marketing research, the usage of both neuromarketing and traditional marketing experiments are necessary. As we know that customers say what they think they should say, not what they genuinely feel. An accurate research will happen in two steps. One, understand what drives customers' attention, emotions and memories towards the brand or the product using neuromarketing methodologies. Conduct conventional marketing researches such as focus group to establish the marketing mix. Research requires a variety of technologies such as fMRI, EEG, biometrics, facial coding and eye tracking to learn how consumers respond and feel to stimuli. You see, the principles of neuroscience are like the keys of a grand piano. The limits are boundless, and the corporate is adding keys all the time. Perhaps a larger concern is that consumers will find it increasingly difficult to resist the pressure to buy, which is great for business, even in times of global pandemic crisis, to truly understand what drives purchasing behavior. As humans, we believe we're incredibly clever, but in reality, we're less and less immune. Neuromarketing is a recent emerging disciplinary field in marketing. In that sense, there is an urgent need to create ethical guidelines. Like a hammer, it can be used to put a beautiful painting on the wall or to hit someone on the head. And that was our neuromarketing director in our Brussels office. Food for thought indeed. One may fear such adherence to science could stamp out spontaneity in ideas and destroy creativity in the industry. On the contrary, the corporate argues that mind reading, with the transformation of such statistics into media production, actually helps sell original thinking to companies that would otherwise stick with their tried and tested methods. Let's hear from our business development team in Singapore, where our business development executive Yasmin explains. If the 19th century belonged to Europe and the 20th century to the United States, then the 21st century now belongs to Asia. Beyond the era of Western hegemony, 
Asia is returning to the patterns of commerce and cultural exchange that thrived long before European colonialism and American predominance. Even as the United States sits on the sidelines in this new phase of globalization, Asia's growing heft is reordering the world economy. How you build trust, manage people, plan and make good impressions all linked to cultural differences. Basic standard operating procedures such as how you sell, lead, train, negotiate, motivate, communicate and advertise are vastly different across regions. What makes you a success in Asia can doom you to fail in Europe and vice versa. Almost all of these differences can be mitigated with appropriate business development strategies guided by our team at The Corporate, led by our EMEA and APAC director, Shanez. A results-driven strategist, she provides expert relationship management and strategic guidance to clients across industries. She and I build trust through a demonstrated ability to optimize performance and achieve desired results with a passion for professional and personal development to continue to bring the highest value to clients. As a team, we direct Western companies in the navigational process of Asia, which is in particular a goldmine of diversity that is contributing to the emergence of a truly multipolar world. And now that we've explained our why and how, it's on to our what, which shall be illustrated by a snippet of our main corporate video. We're the world's first multilingual, multicultural, and intercontinental neuroscience-based media production company. Through systematic 360 campaigns, we bring together business leaders from Asia Pacific and Europe who share the goal of strengthening international trade and investment relations between the two continents. We convene in parallel with international events across our two main offices, from Singapore, our headquarters in Asia, to Brussels, our headquarters in Europe. Combining the former as the world's leading maritime capital and largest technology hub outside of the Silicon Valley, with the latter a solid network in the European Union, we're an ideal platform to engage with leaders from both regions, communicating concrete ideas on how to tackle today's and tomorrow's challenges boosting economic growth, development, and job creation. We're the Corporade, the world's first neuromarketing-based media production firm located in all major markets. Specialists of international brands, products, and technologies focused on the markets of Europe and Asia Pacific our key function is to develop and implement market expansion for small to mid-sized manufacturers and brands with competitive products necessary to fuel growth and profitability in the crowded and competitive business markets of the 21st century. Our multilingual and multicultural team of professionals who share a deep understanding of the complex and highly relationship-oriented Asian markets support all client projects enthusiastically. Bridging Western manufacturers to Asian customers and vice versa is the core of our company. Services such as the corporate companies and the corporate events focus on bringing two worlds together, the West and the Far East. With the unique approach to find opportunities in Asian markets for Western brands, we identified the right customers for product lines and the right places to integrate foreign technologies. Finding a loophole in today's very competitive Asian markets is never easy. But we make sure during and after expansion projects that the corporate's clients stay long-term in the newly acquired market. We take care of building lasting relations to customers and aim our clients' brands to flourish throughout Asia and Europe. Why Southeast Asia and Europe? Today, producers of most products look to markets that are stable and have biggest growth potential. It is no secret East Asian markets have been among the fastest growing countries with exports from Western economies in the past 20 to 30 years. And there is no doubt East Asia is the place to look at for the next two decades at least. 
The Corporate will guide you to enter or expand your business in the high potential but very demanding and competitive marketplaces, Southeast Asia and Europe. Working with the Corporate across locations worldwide, our methodologies will be your driving force to succeed in your export targets. Simply see us as your B2B economics medium for Europe and beyond. For the past years, we have focused particularly on small and medium-sized companies in various countries. Our specialists are in constant communication with entrepreneurs, executives, and managers. Direct personal contact is important to us, which is why we speak directly with decision makers from industry, trade, and the service sector. Now let's be honest, that sounds like a lot of marketing jargon. But to break it down in what the why terms, imagine a BBC-like newsroom purely dedicated to serve your business. So if you manage an international law firm in Singapore looking to expand in Germany, for example, you'll have corporate curate for the company everything based on neuromarketing in both languages, from a corporate video to a current affairs podcast series by professional reporters, to animate video and infographics explaining the nitty-gritty of business law and contracts, for example. Thanks to neuromarketing, your very own company's newsroom in the form of a talk show or podcast series is no longer going to sound like business or marketing terminology, but actual content people know will add real value to their lives. Folks, say goodbye to interruption marketing and say hello to permission marketing where high conversion rates await. By effectively targeting and engaging specific audiences with value-added content. At The Corporate, this applies to clients in real estate, insurance or trade show exhibitions that happen yearly. That's not all. Besides news, trends, and innovation from SMEs, The Corporate presents unique strategies, concepts, and ideas that keep companies on the winning track and fit for the future. With this belief, we provide clients with competent background information, analysis, and insider knowledge as a decision-making aid and stimulus for day-to-day -day business through multiple platforms a quarterly magazine, a weekly talk show, and podcast you're listening to coined as What the Why, with its tagline of investigating purpose beyond profit, and weekly live or online events connecting business professionals in Europe and Asia through a highly intellectual What the Why game across both our offices. And that was under 15 minutes, minus the introduction, of course. Give us a chance, will ya? <laughs> It was our introductory special. In our upcoming podcast episodes, we're looking for guests worth of a TED Talk, worthy of a real why, for an expert psychologist and moderator to investigate the why behind every what and how, live on the show. Doesn't matter if you're a game changer in business, a politician, an academician, or simply somebody with a TED Talk inspired story to share. But remember, that story has got to have a great purpose beyond profit revolved around it. If you've got a great why to experiment with us, email us at contact at thecorporate.com. And that's corporate with an A-I-D. With a point of reference for everything you do going forward, make more intentional choices for your business, your career, and your life. Inspire others to buy from you, work with you, and join your cause. In What the Why, you'd learn to stop acting on gut decisions that are made for reasons you don't really understand. Work with purpose, on purpose, and start with why. All new talk show and podcast episodes. From our offices in Brussels and Singapore, here's to corporating with you on the next episode. Drive your business strategies with the Corporate Magazine. Now available in quarterly digital and print issues throughout Europe and Asia Pacific. Order your free copy on www.thecorporate.com or get featured by getting in touch with contact at thecorporate.com.